Heather Duplessy Allen Drive. Weekdays from four on News Talk ZB. Let's be honest about what we all suspect is going on with Air New Zealand, and that is that Air New Zealand managed to turn around its business yesterday and post a profit for the first time in years by milking Kiwis. Not milking the rest of the world, just milking Kiwis. I mean, we're all aware by now that they jacked up the price on their domestic routes, right? It might surprise you, though, to know that they're actually pretty competitive on some of the international routes where there's lots of competition. I mean, for example, try flying next week, let's say Auckland to Wellington. Their cheapest flight on Thursday is double what Jetstar is charging. Try booking an international flight that day, direct flight to, let's say, Singapore. They are actually the cheapest ticket you'll get. Auckland, Univ Auckland University economics professor Robert McCulloch's onto this. He wanted to know how much of their billion dollar turnaround yesterday was off the back of domestic routes compared to international routes. He couldn't find it anywhere in the end of year accounts. Now, for Qantas, he found it pretty easily in last year's annual report, page 19 actually. But Air New Zealand's? Nowhere to be found this year. Judging by the texts yesterday, lots of people are clearly getting grumpy at Air New Zealand for this. And look, I don't blame you, especially, especially if you live in a region where Air New Zealand is the only option. But the number of people I've spoken to who complain about Air New Zealand and then don't fly anything else is extraordinary. I mean, someone today was complaining about having to pay $1,400 for two adults to Nelson this past summer. I said, well, why don't you just fly Jetstar to Wellington and then in Wellington get on the Sounds Air to Nelson? Nah, can't be bothered too inconvenient. Well, in that, in that case, don't complain about it. If you're still flying in New Zealand and you don't like it, just don't fly them anymore. Fly someone else or just drive. In New Zealand will be pushing this with us as far as they can to make as much money as they can. And you cannot blame them for that. They are a business. They're answerable to their shareholders. I mean, we might be grumpy, but clearly they haven't pushed it too far with us yet because we're still flying them. Heather Duplessy Allen Drive, weekdays from four on News Talk ZB.